Hey guys, it's your girl Ashley. If you're new to my channel, what's up? So today I'm having a very cool influencer moment. By that, I mean I'm just feeling really cool because I'm going to be going over the BoxyCharm March products now. The reason why I feel very cool is because I finally got upgraded into the premium uh, box and you know I was on a wait list for a while and I'm also part of the boxy Lux group so in March we got the boxy Lux and I got sent two boxes and I paid for all of them so I'm gonna give you guys my honest review here now here is the premium box that I finally got upgraded for and I also got my boxy Lux so it's pretty cool because I got two boxes and um I'm just feeling really cool. I'm feeling like I'm having like a Manny Moi moment when he usually gets like the regular box and the premium box. Now I have the box deluxe and the premium box. So let's go ahead and see what I got. So let's go ahead and start off with the boxy premium. It is all about Fenty Beauty. Now I'm pretty obsessed with Fenty. Like I don't own everything, but I don't know what it is. I think I just like their like packaging and like their theme. And not only that, but if you guys don't know the makeup artist named Priscilla Uno, Yo, she is so good. She's like basically the ambassador for Fenty Beauty and she's she's just amazing. Like I want to take one of her makeup course so freaking bad, but here's some of the items that I got. Let's go one by one. Now the first item is the highlighter. Now Rihanna has some really cool highlighters. Well, let's say Fenty Beauty. Of course, we got the famous and very popular shade Trophy wife look at that color it is such a cool gold yellow highlighter now her highlighters retail for 36 dollars the next item is a matchstick shimmer uh skin stick the shade that i got this in is called confetti rihanna also has well fenty i keep wanting to say rihanna now but fenty beauty has a lot of um shades like this they're highlighters they're um contour shades let's see how much product there is in here actually now i'm intrigued so that's how much product you get in the shimmer stick now again this is in confetti this retails for 25 dollars fenty definitely hooked it up with a freaking eyeshadow palette which i'm actually really excited because like i said i follow priscilla uno and she normally does tutorials on her on her uh, instagram and she was using this palette and i was super excited so this is the moroccan spice eyeshadow palette this actually retails for 29 dollars which is kind of surprising to me because i feel like Fenty's kind of like high-end and there's other eyeshadow palettes that are super expensive but this is the eyeshadow palette this palette is $29 you get 16 shades now right now the shades are actually pretty cute it's nothing that I haven't seen before this actually reminds me a lot of a Too Faced palette that I have the next item is a gloss balm now this retails for $19 and this shade is the diamond milk now this is such a pretty like fenty definitely has some pretty dope packaging so next up we have a plush matte lipstick there's another word in front of it it's called like matte mozzarella 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 whatever that is but this retails for 18 dollars now uh, again here we go with the packaging it looks like a little bullet I, I would have never actually thought that this was a lipstick by the size of it and like, you know, the shape of it, but you pop it open and it's definitely a lipstick. I don't know if this is like a travel size, but you know, it's pretty slim for a lipstick. I'm not used to that. I'm used to like my thicker looking lipsticks, you know, like my MAC ones and uh, other ones, but I'm not used to like this slim of a lipstick, but Look at that shade though. That's like a beautiful, what is this even? What is this called? Griselda? Griselda, I believe. And this is a matte. It looks like a burgundy purple, like definitely dark vibes. Oh my God, it kind of matches my nails a little bit, don't you think? Just a little bit, it's darker, but still, I'm de definitely digging this vibe here. Last but not least, we have blotting paper now. It comes like this, and you have to basically just assemble it together, but this retails for $16. So for all my oily girls, this is good to just throw on your purse and just pat, you know, throughout the day. Now, this is interesting. How do you make this work? First of all, the packaging, though. For blotting paper, that's pretty freaking cool. So if you don't want to be ghetto like me and go get the um, toilet seat... <laughs> 
<laughs> papers and just throw them in your purse. And you can definitely just put this together. So you just put this in here and you assemble it and then you have some blotting paper on the go for you. All right, so let's see what we have for this Foxy Lux. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go down the list and see what we got. Sorry if I look down, cause I mean, you know, I'm reading my cheat sheet. So this is the Morad Hydro Dynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes. So wow, this actually retails for $70 and I can't believe, I hope this is actually the full size because this is insane. $70 for this eye cream. I mean, if you know by now, you know, skincare is actually super expensive, especially the good kind. Now, it's just crazy to me. $70 for an eye cream. Like, this just just for the eyes, not for the whole face. Next item is the Sol de Janeiro. And I think I'm saying that right, but this is the Brazilian Bum Bum plus Coco Cabana Cream Duel. Now, this is $15. Now, I don't know if it's $15 for each or $15 for both, but... Um, they gave us one of these, like, full size, which I actually think I still have. Let me see where it at, though. Don't mind me. I'm cleaning my room, and I still haven't organized it properly. But, you see, I think I got this in one of the boxy Lux uh, last year sometime, but... I still have it. <laughs> I haven't finished it. I usually have it in my car because I actually like the smell of it. Every single time I wear it, people are like, oh my God, something smells really good. Who is it? And I'm like, it's me. I smell good. But this is the actual size. Now, that's why I'm a little disappointed that you gave me a little baby one. Like, So is it 15 just for this? Uh, or is it 15 H? I'm just a little confused. But why? I thought, you know, let me just rant real quick. Boxy Lux, you claim to go ahead and give out full size items. This is not a full size item. So, little disappointed and upset with you about this, especially because this is a repeat, at least to me. Um, but I understand that you have new people who normally, you know, um, are new subscribers to Boxy Lux. But if you're going to give something out and you claim to give full size items, this is not full size. Just saying. So now BoxyCharm came out with their own eyeshadow palette. So first of all, gotta say that I love the fact that they're coming out with their own cosmetic line. Like you're a genius for like, you know, doing this subscription and then started to come out with your own stuff. That's pretty cool. I um, mean, I love the fact that you're sticking to your theme, like how your boxes are like, you know, all black with the same print. Love that. Love, love, love that. So you open this up. And again, you have, you see, I just love this packaging. This is just so cute and I just feel like it's you. You know what I mean? But this retails for $39. So this is actually more expensive than the Fenty one, actually. And you get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So you actually only get 12 eyeshadow palettes and it's more expensive than the Fenty Beauty one. And now we have, this is called the... PMD Beauty Smart Facial Cleanser Device. Now this retails for $99, so that's a very expensive item. It actually comes with batteries too, but I kind of seen this around Facebook, so you guys can see it has a little bit of little like little puntitas there, and once you click this button right here, it turns on and it vibrates. That's like an ASMR moment, sounds like a little vibrator. <laughs> Um, but it's supposed to help, oh my god, it's gonna make my hands sleep. But it's supposed to just massage and help cleanse the face a little bit better. I haven't tried it myself, so I don't know, but you guys can see it really, you know, it's moving. It's definitely moving. I think we're, oh, and then you press it again, it has different settings. It's going even faster now. And then this one, it goes like, beep, done. Oh my god, it's literally like a fucking vibrator. Now I turned it off. So it has how many? One, two, three, four. So it has four different settings. And then it comes with this little holder. So you can put this like in your restroom, like waiting for you. Only if I had a queue and restroom that I can keep my stuff like that, you know, one day. But right now, this is all I got. So now I have the NARS Matte Lip Pigment. Love me some NARS. Now this retails for $25. So this is supposed to be a lipstick, I'm assuming. Ooh. Yes, I have never ever ever bought a NARS liquid lipstick or lipstick in general. I, no wait, that's a lie. I think I bought the orgasm like little mini lipstick because it came with like the little mini orgasm blush too. But anyways, this has a wand and it is a liquid lipstick. Now, 
The shade is a little bit similar to the one in the Fenty. So I don't know if that's like a vibe that like a theme that they're going for. But I definitely love like these colors. Now we have this Zoeva blush palette. Oh, I had it the wrong way. There you go. These are I like. First of all, the packaging super cute. Now this retails for nineteen dollars, and when you take it out, it has the same kind of vibe than you know this here. When you open it up, this is what you got. I love the size of these. Like this is perfect. Three different shades. So I'm assuming this is my these. <laughs> This is my blush and I'm assuming this would actually be my blush too and I can maybe get away with doing highlight I just feel like they're a little dark for my complexion, but we'll see if we can play with it Next We have this body wash infused buffer now this retails for $16 and this again to me is another repeat because I do remember getting this again It was like a different shape. I think it was like a star or maybe the same, but I don't know if it was a different smell, but I do remember getting something similar to this before, sometime last year in one of the boxy looks. Now, um, cool. So the last item is this Moroccan oil spray. Now this retails for $30, and I used to be obsessed with Moroccan oil. When I worked at a salon in Washington State, we had Moroccan oil, and I wasn't sure. I don't think we had this before, so I don't know if this is like new or maybe we just never carried it. But this is supposed to be a leave-in conditioner. It's really good for those who have color-treated hair. It's going to help prolong your color. It's going to help it not fade as fast. And it's going to help, you know, protect it from, like, sunlight. Because um, technically, sometimes, like, the sun, even if you're just outside, it's going to lighten your hair a little bit. It's going to help with, like, pollution, um, you know, just extra fanciness there. It says that it's also going to help with thermal protection, but it's not necessarily labeled as a thermal protector. But it does say that it can help with thermal. So if you do not have color treated hair, maybe this would just help you as a thermal protection to not fry your ends when you have that freaking, you know, flat iron at 400 degrees. In total, I received eight items in my boxy lux. Now, if you count the like body creams as two, then that would be considered nine. So if you, you know, consider one and one, then that's nine items. But if you consider these together, then it would be only eight items. So Let's go ahead and do my face, and then I'll give you guys all my, you know, thoughts and feelings about these months boxy charm. Before I put on my moisturizer, I'm gonna put on the eye cream. So again, this is the Morad Hydration Eye Cream. This retails, I believe, it was for seventy. That's so much, but remember, a little goes a long way. So you don't really need that much for underneath your eyes. I feel like that should be enough. I'm just using my ring fingers, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put some under the eye. Okay, so all I applied right now is concealer underneath my brow bone. So I use the Stay Naked Concealer. This is in the shade 30NN. And then for my eyeshadow, I use the P. Louise Base Pro. This is in the color Rumor 02. So this is what it looks like. But um, let's start playing with this BoxyCharm palette. So BoxyCharm palette and then Fenty over here. But first, BoxyCharm. So with this JH33 brush, I'm going to grab this color right here, which is called Spoiler. A lot of fallout in the palette. Let me tell you, just tap that off. I'm gonna be applying that on the crease. Just going back and forth. Whenever I'm doing a look, normally I always go in the crease first just cause I feel like that's like my base really. And then from there I can build up and I'm still trying to figure out like the look that I'm going for, you know? But damn, this is very, Orangey and yellow. Didn't think it was that pigmented when I first saw it, honestly. But it's telling me, it's like, I'm here, girl. I can work. Now with this M511 brush, I'm going to grab this color here, which is called Premium. This one right here. Just tapping a little bit. And this is going to work as my transition shade. Okay, back with the JH33 brush, I'm going to grab this color here, which is called Cup of Joy, which is a really good brown. I'm just going to focus this on the crease. I'm just going to deepen the crease. I really like this color right now. It looks so good. I mean, I love my neutrals, but I definitely want to kind of, um, to a certain extent, you know, still make this look a little bit colorful 
that's what I'm going for. But I always like to start with my neutral tones. This is really pretty. It kind of reminds me like a sunset, especially right now that I can't really go out. You know, we have to improvise. So I'm going to start filling in the outer corner of the eye. I'm using the M43 brush. M43? No, M433 brush. And I'm going to use this color here called Unboxing, which is a reddish brown. Well, it's not even brown. Why do they even say brown? It's red. It's like a burgundy. Ashley, you don't know your colors. Apparently, I don't. But I'm just going to go ahead and put this on the outer corner of the eye. And this is just going to work as my base. I just want to use as many colors as I can, really. This can either make or break the look, my friend. I feel like going on the eye, you guys can see, it just doesn't, it isn't as pigmented as a burgundy, you know, red. You would hope that it would be. It just comes up as like a wash of color. I've heard that these kind of shades are really hard to make and for the pigment to really stand out. So I can understand that, but I'm not sure if I'm happy choosing this color after all. With a flat eyeshadow brush like this one, I'm going to go in with Charmer. So Charmer is this one right here, which is like my mermaid looking color, which is so freaking gorgeous. I hope that it, you know, transfers as pretty as it looks, but... Let's see. I'm just gonna tap that. Yo, this color is so freaking pretty. There's definitely fallout happening. It's happening. <laughs> it's happening. I got fallout, but it's expected. This is why I waited to do the rest of my face. I just was like, let me do the eyes first in case of any fallout. And I'm glad I waited. I'm going to go in with this jacked up BR250 brush and I don't even know where I got this from honestly but I'm going to go in with that exclusive color <laughs> this brush is beat up dude it doesn't even have that many um why am I even using this let me see if it's even going to work is it doing anything I honestly thought that maybe this would be darker that when it's what it's coming off as right now. The thing is, it all comes together once you like put on your foundation, your concealer, some lashes and all. But I'm going to leave it like this for right now. Because after I'm done with like concealer and all that, I'm going to be able to go in on the lower lash line and connect and make it all go together. And then I still need to add like a pop of color on the inner corner of the eye. But I'm going to stop here for right now for this eye look. All right, so let's start. I'm using the M433 brush and I'm gonna grab this color right here. That's gonna work as my crease. I'm gonna put this on the crease. So something I noticed about this palette, and I'm sorry, I know there's an airplane passing, but you know what? This is my time. Don't outshine me, plain. But there isn't really that many light shades in this palette to create like an easy and smooth transition color. So what that means is that I kind of have to go light-handed and start kind of like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Diffusing it upwards, if that makes any sense. Just little by little. Now with the M511 brush, I did not grab any color. I'm just going to go ahead and blend this upward. Now, I know that some of these brushes are already used for the other palette, but I cleaned them. I have the, what is this called again? This is the color switch solo. So it's basically this and it's gonna, and it helps remove like all the color. And uh, yeah, I love that stuff. I had it for years now. But yeah, anyways, go say, blending this upward. I'm hoping that this works. So I'm gonna do this with the same brush, which is the M511 brush. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this color right here. So it's like a coral-like color, and I'm hoping that that's going to give a little bit of just, you know, color, and um, hopefully it's not too dark. So a little bit, and gently kind of sweep it through. So you guys can see I got a little bit of color there, and I'm blending it. And this is just going to help make it, like, smooth, and for it all to blend. With this M433 brush, I'm going to grab this brown right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this on the outer part of the eye. 
So it's going to help to just start smoking out the look. And then that way I can still decide like what color I want to put on the lid. With the same brush, I'm going to grab this color right here, which is like a purpley, dark, smoky, metallic, really pretty color. I am the worst when it comes to describing colors, okay? But I'm just dipping my brush like so. Like you can see that the tip is what is really covered. Just a little. Oh, you see? I don't even see a fall out there. But I'm just going to apply this on the outer part of the eye. Ooh. Oh my god, this, this color actually looks way better than the matte color. I feel like the matte color was really kind of... um. You know, every eye is very different. So like this eye, I tend to have like more veins in it. And at times I have a hard time really smoothing out the colors. And this color just really did it for me. Wow. Oh my God. I'm just obsessed with this color right now. But I'm going back with the M511 brush. And I'm just smoothing out the edges here. For the inner corner of the eye, I'm going to use a neutral shade. Now it's going to be this one right here. And this one has a little bit of, like, gold, but I see a little bit of, like, it has just, like, these kind of, like, glitter reflections that look a little bit green. So, I'm going to put that with a flat eyeshadow brush all over the eyelid area. A little bit of concealer and un concealer brush, and I'm going to clean up that eyelid area, and then I'm going to apply that eyeshadow. Let's see. Let's see if it really stands out. Okay. That's better. That's better, but it's still not the shebang that I was looking for. Maybe if I wet the brush or maybe if I use my fingers. Okay, let me use my finger. But I have like fat fingers, so it makes it really hard for me to be very precise with it, but I think maybe the oh that's the wrong shade i feel like the finger maybe did work Ooh, you see that color is sickening okay that works way better now i'm gonna go ahead and make sure that i have this somewhat blended i don't want to pull it out too much but i still want to make sure that that's not like a deep line i'm gonna be using this flat eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna be grabbing this color here which is pop is it pop up and this pop up I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the inner corner of the eye to kind of really give a good inner corner highlight With an eyeshadow brush like this one this is the JH40 brush I'm gonna grab cup of joy and this is gonna be my lower lash line color so I'm starting from the outer part of the lower lash line and bringing it in. Now for the Fenty side, I'm gonna use the same flat eyeshadow brush that I used for the inner corner highlight for the boxy one. This is the JH41 brush, and I'm gonna grab this color right here, which is kind of like a white, but when, you, when I swatched it, it has like a little undertone of like pinky, coral kind of colors. So I'm gonna grab that, and I'm gonna put this in the inner corner of the eye for the Fenty side. Now for the lower lash line color, I'm going to go in again with the JH40 brush. And now I'm going to grab this color right here. This one, which I used on the outer part of the eye. And this is just going to help to really smoke out this look. I'm going to go in with the Zoeva blush palette. The thing is, all of these look really dark and a little scary looking. So, I don't know what color to go with and I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this one. So I'm using my hand very lightly cause I don't wanna overdo it. So you see that's a little bit of color. But if you have a heavy hand and if you go in really, <laughs> really harsh, you're gonna have a hard time blending that. All right, so time for some highlight. I'm gonna be using the Trophy Y from Fenty. Now I know this is gonna be very intense, but Let's play. Why not? You know, makeup is art. Very lightly. I didn't like swipe it. I just kind of tapped my brush into it like this. And I'm going to go in. Ooh, shit. <laughs> that is amarillo. That is gold, dude. 
I mean, I expected it. So it's been a minute since I finished my makeup, but I was on FaceTime with my friends and that was so much fun. But I took out my lipstick because I looked crazy with it to begin with. The color was just like crazy for me. And I don't know if my camera's moving. I don't know. I'm tripping out. Anyways, Ronaldo, no, vente para acá. Ronaldo, vente para acá. Ronaldo, Ronaldo's my dog and he's trying to get his toy. Anyways, this is the look right now. I have two different eye looks. I kind of forgot about it. And then when I took a picture, I was like <laughs> freaked out by it for a second. Um, but yeah, these are the two eye looks that I created. So again, this side was the Fenty and this side was the BoxyCharm. So earlier I mentioned that I had mixed feelings about this month's BoxyCharm. Now, me personally, I really enjoyed the Boxy Premium. It's $35 and I got about six items. It was Fenty Beauty theme. So I, I don't know, I just enjoyed it. It was pretty cool. And it was my first time getting a Boxy Premium. Now the Boxy Lux, it had about two items that were repeats for me. It's $50 a month. I got decent things, but I wasn't like blown away by it for it being worth $50. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I want to open it and be like, oh my God, like I'm so excited. Like this is so cool. And I just didn't get that vibe for the Boxy Lux this month. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. How do you feel about that? But honestly, I've been a Boxy Charmer for a minute and... Due to, you know, everything that's happening right now, I did have to cancel my subscription because I don't know how long this, you know, situation is going to be. And unfortunately, I'm not working right now because my job got affected by it. working in the beauty industry. It's definitely a very scary moment for so many people. Um, so it's something that just, you know, sad and unfortunate, you know, and also my mom is not working, my dad's not working. And as a household, we need to try to, you know, cut off as much, you know, what is the word I'm looking for? We're trying to just make sure that we are using our money wisely, spending our money wisely. So yeah, that's what's going on. I'm just gonna leave the video here. I haven't filmed this so long that it just feels weird to film. Let me know what other videos I should film. I just, you know, wanna keep myself occupied. I actually had like a huge panic attack literally like a day ago, like a day or two ago. Um, Ronaldo at night just had, you know, started having like respiratory issues. Ronaldo's my doggy. And, uh, that really like triggered me. There's certain thing that triggered me to go into like a panic and anxiety like mode. And that was one of them. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't breathe. It was like really, really hard. I was having just a really hard time. And then I just started, you know, praying and drinking some tea and stuff. And I, thankfully I'm okay now, but you know, having to just be at home, all day and not really being able to hang out with your friends, like not being able to actually work. My job keeps me so, 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 so busy. And just having all this time right now, is kind of like overwhelming a little bit, but yeah. Anyways, let me know what kind of videos I should film during this quarantine. And uh, yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I'll post little previews of what I'm filming and all that good, good stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.